It's the motherfucking AMC Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> what up? What? 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 They are um, blood sucking fun fun crushes. <laughs> They would literally yeah. drain you of any... Yeah. Peter, entertain me. <laughs> yeah. Entertain me. Yeah. I think we should dedicate this part to how perfect you are. I need, <laughs> I, I need to get... Guys, we've got a huge favour to ask you all. Yeah, we took the mick out of people saying, subscribe to my channel <laughs> last week. But that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Please subscribe because it actually means a hell of a lot for this podcast. And if you do... We show you what Russ looks like. If you want to see Russ's sexy schmush, hit subscribe now. Shabba. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Therapy Crouch with me, Avi Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. Pete, do you want to ad ad address the nation and tell them why you're looking a bit uh, rouge? <laughs> bit rouge. Looking a bit Steve Sidwell. <laughs> 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 we'll have none of that on this pod, thank you. Uh, um, yeah, I am slightly rouge. It's quite obvious that we are on holiday. I wear Factor 50 I, head I to toe. I do as well. I thought I'd put green one. But I've been, listen, I've been out grafting. That's the difference. You know what I mean? You're on holiday. I'm out like working to the bone. And when I say working to the bone, I'm definitely not working to the bone. It's a lot of fun. Um, Dinkle Football Escapes. We're out here and I basically, you know, with a load of coaches, you know, I was, train I was... from 10 till 12. But it's in the height of sun. Although there hasn't been any sun the whole time we've been here, which... which Makes me wonder, like, where the hell have you been? <laughs> you know, it's been freezing and cloudy. I'm I haven't closer brought to one. It, I? <laughs> yeah. I haven't brought one. Got know, my head warm... above the clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's quite cool today on my forehead mainly, and uh, it's just a traditional Brits abroad, really, isn't it? You just. But you're really dark skinned. Luckily, you're not yeah. like me, like completely so white browns, Irish. Though, you need to get a little cap on, maybe. Do you have a cap? Yeah, but. I look like. I like remember, you in a cap. Do you remember Ireland in the 1990 World Cup in USA? <laughs> Did you ever see? No, Pete. You have seen that. One. I haven't seen. They it. all had hats on, like when they were warming up, and like, they, we mentioned the Ireland team in 100 degree heat. <laughs> well, that's me. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Thankfully, our kids have got your lovely golden skin, and not mine. Yeah, it's not quite golden yet, yeah. but I'm, I'm hoping it will be at some stage. At the moment, it's just bright red, golden rouge at the but moment. It will be. Yeah. So we managed to get here in one piece. Mm -hmm. It was pretty seamless. Airport ad was nowhere to be seen. You know, I, I'd i been filming the week before, leaving the house at like 5.30am, getting back at 10pm, seven days a week, and I still managed to pack all the kids' bags. Are you honestly going to tell the nation here that airport abs wasn't, wasn't in play at all? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I came home from work. Let me just okay, set the scene. Okay, can I? Uh, you you go, no, and then I'm going to go. Wine. Because I'm literally watching you lie through your teeth at the moment. <laughs> you can't. Carry it's on, not carry a lie on. No, you go your way. And I'll, that's what I'm saying. You do your version, and I'll, and I'll well, do mine. Well, this is the wine then. Well, it looks like no, it. No, no. <laughs> it looks like, I thought we were going to have a catch up for straight Pete had one job just put a shirt in the case and do not mess the house up. I came home. The house looked like we'd been ransacked, <laughs> robbed, every room. Like I came into my front door, there was mud all over my new floor. <gasps> Stones, a million pairs of shoes. I went into the kitchen. I genuinely thought we'd been robbed. To be fair, packing is so... one of them where it's got to get messy before it gets special. It's a massive Ross, overreaction as well. Packed. It was a huge overreaction. There was a couple of shoes out. And I think the in the lounge, there was, I don't know, maybe Milk a with the lids off, dishwasher open, cupboards open, KFC, Empty KFC all no, on the worktop. That's not true because I packed everything, all of that away. I actually left you a little bit of chicken because I, I thought you might eat. Honestly, I thought you might be hungry when you got in. It's actually coming from a nice place. As I left you the zinger if... tower bag. What more do you want? As if what, what, I'm going to eat. Can a man do leftover KFC? There was a little bit of that popcorn chicken. I thought like what? some gravy. You could heat that up. Be lovely. Not a chance. I thought you might be hungry. I genuinely genuinely left a bit of chicken out for you because I thought you might want it. And obviously that was well, a treat for the kids. Something's going on. Well, my something issue, is going my, on with You us. came in and absolutely blitzed me for leaving. Bear in mind, I had the kids all day, mm. all four of them. Do you know what he said? On my own. Yeah. Do you know what he said? It's hard looking after kids, you know. <laughs> and I was like, don't even... But this, is, this is my problem. Yeah. It's, like, it's a role reversal, right? It's like, yeah. when I go to work, I come home and Ab goes... You've, all you've been doing is um, messing around with football. He said, it's hot, so hard having the kids. 
when it's the other way, Ab comes in from work, it's like, God, I'm absolutely knackered, I just need to go up to bed. I'm like, did well, I like say looking that? after the kids no, is easy now, is it? I didn't say I need to go to bed. It's <laughs> like it's like whatever you're doing is the hard thing. That's not true. Well, well that's not. I know it's not true. No, what, what I wanted <laughs> from you is, to, oh my God, you finally finished this week. I've missed you, number one. I've left and some chicken out. <laughs> no. Oh, well, that was a nice gesture, though. I'm not going to eat leftover KFC. Well, all right, well, maybe not a great gesture, but it was still a gesture. And also, I was looking forward to like you coming home. When you come home from work, I make you like a full shepherd's pie or something. Really? When? In the, in the oven? I'm not very Every good day? At, I'm not very good at cooking. He still fed you. I tried to feed you. The, what do you think about us? We had to have KFC. This is all we could do. It's all we could have. And I, I left you, so that was like supposed to be a nice thing. Okay, anyway. Anyway, boring. and then airport abs just went fucking berserk for three days. <laughs> Last three days. It's probably just, I don't think we're still over it. I, I just don't know. What, on I can see that a little bit. <laughs> you can shut up, Ross, turning up with a the fucking vomit. There you go. Hello, yeah. So Sorry, you're I'm, getting I, mean, I just totally agree with you. Whatever you say, I just totally agree with you. So I agree. agree with you as well. Yeah. It's been great. Go on, anyway, so tell, was, me, tell me over. Like, I don't. You've said three days you've. Listen, I'm not going to get too deep into it because there's still the scars are still raw. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. But you have not been your best the last three days. That's all I'm going to say. It's so annoying, like, as a woman. Like, if you get offended by or hurt mm. and that hurt gets ignored mm. and it, that hurt turns into anger and then it's like, what, you actually said it yourself, a woman... Hurt is a woman scorned or something like that. Is that the saying? No, I think so. A woman... It's like a woman Beware hurt of is a, a wo woman scorned or something, something like, like that, isn't it? Yeah. Because you will Hell fit... hath no fury like a woman scorned. There you That's go. It, yeah. Basically, a, a, an angry woman is a. Yeah, it's going to be woman. difficult for you. Yeah. That was that. But I, I thought, I'm not going to give in. And any, I never know. Any reasons for. I mean, there was one particular one where you went the wrong way for breakfast. This is amazing, this one. No. Do you want, do you want me to tell it or you? You could tell She's it. gone the wrong way. Right, so she's walking around. Anyway, that, all the tables, the people that we know, have tapped me and said, oh, she's gone the wrong way there. So people go, oh, she's gone the wrong way. Anyway, she's kept going and then come to like a standstill. And then I've gone, uh, you've gone the wrong way. And she went, fuck's sake. She's going, stop trying to embarrass me in front of everyone. <laughs> I went, well, how is that? How so it's like the breakfast fault? part and there was no gap in the fence. Yeah. But last year when we were here, there was a gap at the end. So I missed the gap, so carried on walking. And I thought I'll come in the other end, but they've blocked that but How is now. this a problem? This one. And, and instead of going, oh, babe, do you need a hand there? Like five plates of food. <laughs> Couldn't get to you. <laughs> hysterical, <laughs> laughing at me and humiliating me. In front I'm of everyone. not humiliating you. Like, literally, it's like, people were really, laughing. You really embarrass me, like, how people, I just don't know how that is. If I went the wrong way, like, I'd go, I, oh, what a dope. Oh. I've gone the wrong way. You literally just walk, just walk. That shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, as going you can tell, the scars are still, it's still raw. Going still. wrong way is, is not the problem, but it was the fact that you were laughing at me in front of everybody. Babe, so lots if of people, they were going, she's gone the wrong way. I nearly knocked the woman out on the desk in Those, the people were she's friends. You yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you were there, Ross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what did you say? Yeah, that's just a random about my woman. my hus husband. <laughs> we knew And he's people. like, let people laugh at me. With these people were with us, that everyone was laughing, going, oh, she's gone the wrong way. It's, that is just, you just go, ah, oh, gone the wrong way. That's literally all it needs to be. Well, well I wouldn't laugh at someone. Now you're both vented in public forum just feel a little bit better you got stuff off your chest it's this is the first time we've been able to talk about it because i just haven't felt like i haven't been able to raise it mm. and then like the fact that i can't raise the fact that my wife went the wrong way at breakfast because <laughs> yeah. i'm scared i i think we how should just, fucking mad is that i think we should dedicate this pod to how perfect you are i need, I, I need to get a <laughs> few you know things fuck off. musical icons I, I, perfect I, I, peter <laughs> yeah you know I he's need to get perfect a few off my chest. he's so perfect if i went the wrong way i just wouldn't make it i wouldn't go is this the divorce yeah, the thing episode is, part two the thing is you wouldn't go the wrong way because you're perfect i probably wouldn't know because it was fucking ridiculous i don't there know how you went away anyway see that's exactly it what? that's exactly what you did it was like what are you doing where are you going it wasn't like ha ha you're, that's so funny you've gone the wrong way it was no nasty. when i saw your face you know when you see and i see it in other women and, and who hate their husbands oh, <laughs> like yeah. I, I saw the face that's like i fucking hate you so much <laughs> i saw that face and i've seen it the last three days and the i've never seen it in 20 years hate can be temporary 
I've never seen that face in 20 years and I've just seen it in the last three days for the first time. Oh, woe we'll betide. <laughs> woe we'll betide. It's, it's, a, it's a new face. It's a, one of pure, unadulterated hatred. And I think you get that as you get like, older. I don't. Well, you do. I don't. Because you've, you've got it now. You've been giving it to him on your <laughs> <laughs> You've been giving him the face. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not a new thing. He just hasn't noticed. <laughs> All right, look, listen, we've wined enough there, I think. You've done enough for the both of us. I think we should go into the audience ones now. Um, hi, guys. Just wanted to whine about my best friend uh, because you can't moan about your bestie. Who can you moan about? Uh, she's getting married next year and I'm currently organising the Hindu. No easy feat when you're maid of honour and trying to coordinate a group of 20 girls, half of whom are as tight as a duck's ass. The main hen is going I did, to be... I, didn't, I wouldn't want to be maid of honour again. No. It's too much responsibility. I just want to turn up and it's all <laughs> yeah, sorted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's that bad. I totally get it. Totally get that. The main hen's going to be in Prague. Whoop, whoop. And then my bestie rang the other day and said she felt bad for all the others who couldn't make uh, an expensive weekend abroad. So can I organise a second? Double the activities, double the stress, double the cost, and no doubt double the disappointment when no one likes the activities I've organised. Who needs enemies with friends like this? What activities has she arranged? I don't know. God knows. You tell us, you were the maid of honour. What activities did you do? My best friend, Holly, when I was her maid of honour, I teamed up with Laura, who's one of our best friends from school, but she is misorganised and she loves it and thrives on it. So, mm -hmm. like, literally to the minute was okay. scheduled. So, I was kind of more of an ideas... Big picture. ...kind yeah. of girl. And, well, I, I sorted where we were staying and all of that and, like, got all the presents and everything sorted. And yeah a couple of tables in places, but Laura planned it. But, you know, as a group, we kind of collaborated and said what we should do, but everything I wanted to do. I thought we should go to, like, a male strip bar, but everyone said, let's go to perfume making instead. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck okay, it out. Girl. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> and it was, you know, when else could you have a bit I fun? Know, I know. totally agree. I'm, I'm doing one next week. <laughs> <laughs> A male strip bar. Yeah. <laughs> Pure male strip bar. You'd be on the pole. I'm working. I'm you, working at once. <laughs> you literally would be up there it's not with high them. End <laughs> so what? What do you suggest here for her? I think when you're organising something mm. for a lot of people, you've got a lot of people to please, and you know, I think all you can do is your best because someone will always moan while others might think, "Oh my god, this is the trip of a lifetime." It's amazing. Not everyone's going to be happy. You can't. I don't, so I don't, you it's, can't. So, it's almost impossible to yeah, make everyone and happy. I, th I think you kind of just need to take emotion out of it and think, you know, this is my friend's Hendo. This is about her. Let's all go and have a great time. But, you know, I do get it. They are, you know, we spent a fortune in Paris when yeah. we went. It was, you know, just big groups, big tables, big, you know, big bills. I think the ones that are left at home there, like, it's never going to be as probably as good as Prague, is it? Right. So they're all going to have to. The one they do there, and then the one that people that can't afford Prague, they're just going to think it's a bit shitter than it's a bit of Blackpool. Shit of Virgin, isn't it? Big Dipper. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing, out, the thing is, a night out with all your your friends and who you love, you can't go wrong. No, you can't. You can't go wrong, and I think just make it about the the bride. I just do a night out in the UK. If you, yeah. few Willy straws, a couple of cowboy hats. Bob's your uncle? Fanny's your aunt. Mm. Fanny's <laughs> Job done. My weekly wine is about my kids. Nothing in particular. They're just hard work. Uh, not only do they constantly require feeding, cleaning, walking, soothing, entertaining, but they also love to throw a tantrum in the mix every other hour. Tarantula? Tantrum. Oh, God. Tantrum. Mm. Uh, that's, that you know, that's one thing our kids have never done, tantrums. Not really. Honestly, I'm Swear? done in, and I don't even know why they keep laughing when I threaten to put them up for adoption. <laughs> Gaz, he's having a tough time with his I th children. I think, I think that's the thing. You know, I was even reading um, Matthew McConaughey's book the other day and he said he d didn't do things as a child out of fear of the consequences that, from his mum and dad. Yeah. You know, and I feel the same way. You know, there was things, you know, I was always in trouble, but there were certain things I wouldn't do because I thought I'll get battered by my mum and dad. Yeah. But I do think that's a common problem nowadays that kids... 
are not scared of the parents. Not that they should be scared of the parents. Is, that, it, is it a lack of respect? It's, yeah, or it's schools as well. I saw it even when I was in school. The authority with teachers, the kids just laugh because you, you can't do anything to them. Can you? You'd be scared though. When I when I was at school, you would be scared. Yeah, I was petrified. When I was teacher? in school, like, you'd see like kids just like I'm not. Like, what are you going to do, sir? Do you know, and the answer is, oh. what can they do? Oh, you know I mean? see that. I mean, I, I never saw that really. I didn't. Like, I, I certainly wouldn't be that like that with my mum and dad at all. Like that's just outrageous, really, isn't it? Yeah, but our kids are like that with us. I'm like, go to go to like, right? That's it. In your room, and then you just go no. And my kids are good kids, but yeah, they say still do well. say no. And I'm like, off the i, off the iPad now, or turn yeah. telly off, and they just say no. We do have that, like even sitting down eating your dinner, like. Growing up as a child, like we all had to sit well, it, down at the table. Also, like just running around. They test their boundaries, don't they? They just see how far they can push it. But like, when you, when you shout, why them, is that? Is that a kind of? It's not a lack of respect. Especially no, I just in our think head. they just see what they can get away with, don't they? That's what they. And you what, come out. You generally come out. With the, everyone goes through phases. You have got like mm, terrible mm, tweens or whatever. Yeah, and stuff like that. You could, what do you but call they, it, it? they are. Tweens. They are. You know, <laughs> what's a tween? Like ten to thirteen. They are blood sucking th- fun crushers. <laughs> They would literally yeah. drain you of any your last sense, mm. <laughs> and they would, you know, and then not thank you for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I do wonder at times, what the hell are we doing? Yeah, you know, they they literally like your your your. Imagine how much fun you had before, and that's all gone. Although Sophia's on a netball tour with the school at the moment, yeah, which is why we're here because we're here to support her, and I have missed her so much. Have you? Like it, it's. It's put a massive dent in the kind of dynamic her not being here. I really feel it, do you? Yeah, 100% we felt it. And yeah. she's missing me. Aww. And I would never normally get let her go on a school trip like this, but obviously because we're in the same country as her, it slightly softens the Is this the, the longest you've been separated as parents and child? Yes. Would you say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah from from a, yeah, like not, not sleeping in the same house. Yeah, we've, room, we've yeah. been away together for a few days. That's probably the longest we've left. Yeah, her. yeah, especially because she's in a foreign, different country. You yeah, know, but well. you know, not being left with family. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it yeah. is bizarre. But I think she's enjoying the independence. But I do think, she, you know, we, we said the other day we've noticed a difference with Sophia mm. and her like the attitude. She has got a lot better. Oh, she's got so much better. Yeah, it's weird. It's like everyone says, "Oh, they hit teens and it's game over." She's just started coming out in that. Like she's she's probably been so good now. Like mm. and she's good company. Yeah, you know, and uh, yeah, just so happens our eight year old is uh, just on the ten filling her void. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on the ten. What's that every time I say something. To- the she's in the pool today and she's with the older girls, right? And they've got the babies with me, and the babies want to go to the kids' club. So I said, "Lib, look, I can't leave you here." You gotta come with me. So she just went underwater. And you've never she was like a dolphin. She literally did not come back up for about three months. Really. I know. And I was going, oh To the no. point where you're like, am you I jumping in here? Ask me, I'm gonna have to go yeah. in the water here to fish her out. Because she's just like she's grown gills. They all stay and, underwater so long, our oh. kids, don't they? And then she's come up and gone <laughs> straight under again. But bear in mind, I've got all my gear on. It's like the Loch Ness one. I can't go in there after. I'm like, see them. <laughs> you count this fucking fool. She knows what she's doing. She's got an extra six minutes underwater. <laughs> Outrageous oh. behaviour. So basically, Gaz needs to savour these. So areas. Gaz, yeah, save the moments. Listen, we wouldn't change it. We do genuinely love it. But there are, it's hard at times. You know, so many people today have been asking me, why didn't we have another baby? Right. Like three people today have asked me that. I'll stop a four. four. Oh I know. Why didn't you have another one? It's like if you've got one, people ask that. You go, did you not want to have another one? Mm-hmm. Like we've got four, <laughs> two of each. Like fucking mean? cheaper by the dozen in your house if you carry that oh, much I more. I love that it? film. <laughs> Steve Martin's fab, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is good. He's fucking like the same age since the 80s, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. I, I'd like to drop a weekly wine about how pers how personality catfishing is definitely a thing. I think it is. I've been on a couple of dates uh, with people I've met online lately. And whilst I've been pleasantly surprised by how true they are to their pictures in real life, Jesus Christ, they are dull. Mm. I am convinced they must be getting help from their friends sending responses on Hinge over because I think uh, I'd rather uh, drink paint, never mind watching it dry, than spend another evening wasted on these knobs. Do you know what? So she's what? boring and not knob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But what I think they could be, you know, it's easier to be confident on a keyboard. Yeah. Or they could be getting the the AI chat. 
Chatbots. You know, chatbots. Oh, you're hot on the AI. Yeah, aren't you? I'm, I, you know, <laughs> oh, I, yeah. AI is my new shtick. Shtick. Mm. <laughs> so, so, how does that work? If I go on Hinge, obviously, I hit you up on Hinge. What's Hinge? How are you going to AI me back? What the hell's Hinge? <laughs> Tinder. Oh, um, no, you'd have to type it in separately and then retype it, I imagine. I'm not that technical. So, so I yeah. don't know how you get it from the AI bot onto the Hinge. <laughs> the AI <reply> bot. Box. <laughs> We've actually got some. I've just Googled on my phone Did any um, chat GBT chat at lunch. Want to read a couple of them? Mm. Do you have a map? I keep getting lost in your eyes. Yeah, but can't we have... Sound like some of Yeah, but the thing is, it's like... Can people you, can aren't you... going to say this shit. It, can't it just be like, hey, chat GBT, can you make me interesting? <laughs> and then, you know... <laughs> I, can I, you I want, say I want... that to it? Like, can you say can what you... would be interesting for a girl on Hinge? No, but it's a, it's a real thing. You know, I was... I was somewhere recently in a large group of people. All great people. Mm. Boring bastards? No, no, not, not that. Oh, no, they weren't. Great people. What are you going to say they're boring? I, I don't think looks come into it at this point. So they're ugly and boring? No, they're not <laughs> ugly and boring. They were actually good looking. Oh, but right, okay. what is so crucial mm. is having a good personality. You know, I was thinking, God, you're good looking, but Jesus Christ... I couldn't last longer than a day with you. Yeah. Male and female, that this is I'm talking by the way. You know, you go it goes back to that old um simply red quote. You are so beautiful, but oh so boring. <laughs> you know, that's a lyric, yeah, isn't well, I suppose that's loud. What am I doing here? It's it's looks do not matter if it's not backed up with personality. Yeah, you can have a great snog. Even a one night stand, mm. but it's not going to last longer than that. <laughs> mm. I really missed you because I was thinking, God, I'm used to being entertained. <laughs> <laughs> like a performing monkey. You certainly are, darling. You certainly are. Peter, <laughs> entertain me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, entertain me. But to be fair, like with, with our friendship group, we are so lucky that everyone is a big, bullshit, funny characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when that's taken away, you're like, fucking hell, is this what the real world's like? <laughs> you, you said it so well last time. I mean, it's, they're, they're out there. <laughs> they get about. <laughs> they get, they get about. about. These boring people. <laughs> These boring people get about. Do I sound bad saying that? No, no. I just, the longer I go in life, I, is, is the, the less I tolerate b boring people. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, they are, they're out there. Boring in nights is hard to offend, though. <laughs> I ain't got but time you know, for it's, it's exhausting. <laughs> I haven't got time for it. Nights out now are rare, right? If I get stuck with, you know, yeah. boring, boring Bill, Norman. Uncle Bill, <laughs> Uncle Norm, <laughs> I, I, got, I haven't got time for that, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not my schedule. I don't see my friends enough yeah. for that. Yeah. You know, I've got loads of, I see you for, makes having well, a crack. I, I actually did think to myself when I was in this group, God, I actually take it for granted mm. how much I am entertained by my family and friends by our group and it's so important for a good quality of life well, I genuinely think it is but I, I don't know if that's just kind of how we feel you but know some because people like being some people look like John because <laughs> <laughs> you can still no, like, and I'm not talking have going an up. intellectual debate it's not like being stupid like it's it also doesn't revolve around drinking and you know getting drunk you know lately we haven't been drinking at all mm. and you can you can still have a great time yeah being mm. boring is very unfortunate mm. so it's catfishing for instance right here is this i mean can, can this happen have we got any uh yeah so have we got uh, any up so it's a, a clear smiling <laughs> headshot of yourself a photo of you hiking in the mountains showcasing your adventurous side so you've just typed this in and this is this make is me interesting profile. for hinge make me interesting for hinge a candid shot of you laughing with friend, friends at a barbecue. <laughs> a picture of you playing guitar by a campfire, <laughs> highlighting your musical talents. Oh, I think you're a bell. If I saw that, I think you're a bell. <laughs> a photo of you volunteering at a local animal shelter, demonstrating your compassion. This sounds like my dream, man. <laughs> What's well, working, then? <laughs> yeah, look, your eyes lit up. <laughs> Hiking, guitar playing, animal lover. Come on, come on. Wow. <laughs> To be honest, though, that is like I've seen an advert like Expedia.com or something, and it is a guy hiking. Yeah, it is someone round the campfire. It is someone you know with a puppy? That's too stereotypical for me. Yeah, like like that is. It's obvious you've kind of seen what women like, isn't it? You know, if I'm women 
Just like that. Yeah, but if you're if I was riding a horse on the side of a mountain like that, you'd go, wow. Like, Putin. <laughs> like, they, like hiking and all that, like outdoor pursuits and stuff. It's all a bit cliche now, isn't it? You just have a nice picture of yourself. And then just, I think, you know, getting catfished is definitely a thing though, isn't it? Like, because people are interesting. Like, I've got a mate who's so interesting on the group, like, Fires in gags left, right, and centre. Who's that? You meet him up, just say boo to a goose. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? <laughs> just say one word. He must be on the ch- chat bot. I reckon he's on it. Yeah. He's, he's chat button, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, though. Let's cheers to everyone else's weekly one. Ours is Nova. No, it is. <laughs> it is. So, we've had a lot of people writing into us. You know, a, a couple of weeks where we were complaining about pop music yeah. of today and the filth popular music culture pop music culture <laughs> the filth that is blasted into our ears on a daily basis <laughs> yeah, absolute filth um so we had a lot of our listeners saying okay then so what what is what what type of music do you actually like and what do you think is worthy for our ears the thing is you know, it's obviously because we're parents that we we think this because as you or think, old you think about it i used to love dre and snoop and <laughs> Like, to be, I think I, like I language, used to the, love Dre and Snoop. We still do. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. That's, I, that's my I, um, I love them, but what's the difference between them and motherfucking like, DRE? Is the song Cardi I used P. to yeah, but what I'm saying save is, yourself up? No, 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 no. It's the motherfucking DRE. Snoop Dogg. Like, but what I'm saying is that the language in that is absolutely abysmal as well. I change it to na, 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 na. It's the motherfucking AMC Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I'll never do that again. <laughs> what up? What, what, what? You know when you were kids and you'd listen to like your parents' music in the car, for example, oh, yeah. and you'd cringe to death, wouldn't you? But now for me personally, when I've got older, I love all the music that my mum used to play. You know, mm. like Luther Vandross. Because you were conceived that, to that, Ross? <laughs> Marvin Gaye. You know? <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's like that? Do you think that's just quite natural for everyone? I know what the issue is here. Uh, the issue is... Because on the radio, you'd, you'd listen to it, but it'd be the edited version. Everyone's got Spotify now, right? So you just play the unedited version all the time. So the kids get your Spotify and they'll just play it in the car and they'll Even be... Taylor Swift swears, which I can't believe. Well, that's what I'm saying. So like what I'm saying, like back in the day, you'd have to buy the album, wouldn't you? Now you've got access to all these, this, <clears throat> this kind of music and it's just played without the... So the kids are putting it on and actually wrapping it without the unedited... With the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the un, they're wrapping the unedited version. I think this is more about musical icons, and I, I can sit here now, hand on heart, and say there's they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Said like a true yeah. old person. <laughs> I think the only people who would like cut it today would be I know probably numbers and record sales would contradict me. However, music Adele. Music, oh, Adele's great. Music um, quality and longevity. Adele is definitely up there. And Miley Taylor Cyrus. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. She's humongous, but God knows why. Mm. That's, that's why Taylor Swift. Yeah, I'm, I, she's not my cup of tea, to not be honest. Mine. Not mine at all. Justin Bieber's very talented. Justin Bieber is great. Well, these, these are modern icons. Miley Cyrus is number one for me. Yeah. She's, you know, ugh. She looks great. She sounds great. Band, she like, is great. Fans like Kings of Leon are, are like phenomenal, I think. Yeah, well, we're going to go through it. Oh, we're well, going to go through it now. I'm just right, Do you want to go in your order? Then? <laughs> no, no, what we're saying is, so this, this all, I thought this would be a really good topic this week because obviously we've had a lot of people write in and say, okay, if you don't like current pop that's out now, who do you like? I and, do like it though. No, I, 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 well, no it. we do like it. But the other night we had a party for Sophia's 13th and the kids went, a few of the mums stayed and we were talking about who is the goat. Yeah. Who is the best of all time, the icon. And Peter, which I voice noted to you, Ross, yes. said, I think, I, I think um, Michael Jackson is the most creative person I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think my exact quote was, Michael was Jackson's it. the most creative person I've ever met. <laughs> And obviously I haven't met him. So I, what I meant to say, obviously, was... No, but that got us thinking. It got us thinking. And I, for me, I think he is the most talented person to have walked the earth musically. Iconic. Iconic is the word for him. I it? genuinely think that. Yes, but there's so, so many others. Mm. Yeah, obviously, they, you know, and like, you can but argue... If, if, if Michael Jackson walked into a room 
Yeah. The, I'm talking fame, like talent, music. Like Michael Jackson walks in here now, right? And, and like, uh, you know, <laughs> it, 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 there, there's so many other, like John Lennon, for instance, you know, there are, there are Prince, Eric Clapton, Prince, Eric Clapton, Madonna, Whitney. There are stars, but then there's Michael Jackson, I think. Oh, I don't know. He's a cuss above the rest. I, I, think I just think he's Steven like... Steven Tyler, Leb, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, but you couldn't, you couldn't get in his Chardé, head either. Sade, Simply Red, Luther Vandross. <laughs> For years, the I, list thought, is... I thought Sade was Sade. <laughs> My mum caught me calling a Sade the other week. Sade? Who the fuck, who the fuck are you talking about? It's like, Sade. Oh, get amazing. that, get that um, by your side on, by Sade. <laughs> <laughs> by your side, by Sade. Sade. <laughs> First album I ever bought was bad. Janet Jackson? Yeah. Bad? The Jackson family. Bad, the Michael yeah. Jackson, bad. Uh, I thought you meant bad. <laughs> a bad album. The first album I bought was Now 34. I would love to know what was on that now. That's how old it is. We're in, we're in like now, 2000. Yeah, I'll have a little Google of the, um, the outside. You talk amongst yourselves and I'll find out. Now 30. The track list of now 34. 34. <laughs> Mine was busted. Did you bought busted first album? Yeah. What did you buy? Now 34. Oh, that's... What, There's a compilation. Wannabe, no. Spice Girls. What Three. year was that? 1970. <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'd guess... Oh, go on, have a guess. Have a guess. 93, I'm saying. Oh. Peter? 96. I'm going to go... 94. The correct answer was 1996. Here is the track listing. Wannabe, Spice Girls, Freedom, Robbie Williams, Mysterious Girl, you Peter Andre. You didn't know Andre. that was his first one, you did love. you? I don't know huh? said that. Robbie Williams' was first, Freedom. That was his first single. Freedom, Michael, uh, George, George Michael. George Michael cover. Who, who who on earth covers George Michael? There's only one George Born Michael. Born Slippy, that's a tune. Oh, yeah, that's a good tune. Underworld. Yeah. Blair, Don't Stop Moving, Live and Joy. Naked. Don't Stop Louise Moving. Redman. Oh, I love that. Return Naked. of the Mac. Oh, what a tune. tune. California Love, Tupac, Dre. I'm not a Tupac fan, you know. Whoa. Look at that girl. That's, no. that's a big shout. The Macarena, iconic. Talking about icon. Sunshine and higher states of consciousness. Consciousness. Your sunshine, that one. No, your sunshine. No, that's later. <laughs> Much later. <laughs> that's <a> tune. That's <laughs> a tune. No, but it's 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 so hard to pick the ultimate icon because there's so many genres of music and so many mavericks, icons, revolutionaries. Yeah. You know that it's this, just I, impossible. Because look at all, look at all like the the country and western, Tammy Winnett, or you know Dolly Dolly Parton. Prince was up there as Prince well. Prince up for there, me. George, I think, George. I think Prince George. and Michael Jackson. I think you had the thing they were both so musically gifted, but then like Prince is more guitar playing or music instrument playing. This and is, then this like, is my thing. Like yeah, some Prince like is a George songwriter. Michael. There's millions of songs people don't even know Prince wrote. wrote. Yeah, he's, he's, Nothing he's, compares yeah, loads, for bloody yeah. what's her name? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. Nothing compares for Shade, Sinead O'Connor. Like. The only thing reason I keep coming to Michael Jackson, right, is because obviously I think his tunes were amazing, right? I'm into Michael Jackson, but but he he, he redefined like the, like people can't the dancing, right? You, you've never seen anyone dance like it no. before or since. Well, that's it with a lot exactly. of, the, of the music like, no from the fifties, sixties, seventies. They created it. They were the very first people to do it. You know, now it's kind of even you know with Miley Cyrus, you could see a bit of Tina Turner in there. You could see a Dolly Parton. Even though she's putting her own spin on it, it's you know it's kind of been done. Yeah, it's not as trailblazing maybe as it was. Have you ever seen Michael Jackson do the robot when he was in Jackson Five? No, fucking, <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> well, I know I'm Has not, anyone seen that? But honestly, mine's good. <laughs> but like this thing that he does, you you won't even you can't even believe it. I've got to get it up. <laughs> What's your favourite Michael Jackson song then? Oh yeah, this is a big shout. So. So I quite like the slowies. No, <laughs> I, don't. Gosh, you I don't mind the librarian girl. <laughs> it's obscure. The all-time Michael Jackson is PYT. Um, Man in the Mirror for me. Oh, what a tune. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's an absolute ballad. Yeah, this, have a look at Michael Jackson here. Lionel like, Richie, Commodores are up there though as well. I can't <laughs> stop. I used to sit on the kitchen worktop and put that on and cry. The Night Shift by the Commodores. Watch, Jack, watch Jackson here. Is that Cher? What, watch Michael Jackson. Do Cher? The... Look at him. That's Cher with him, Cher. Have you ever seen dance like that in your life? But all the Tablet Motown do dance like that. No Same one dances like Michael Jackson. No. 
Yes. I, I would agree with that. No one. Shalimar. He no. invented things like the moonwalk. He invented no one had seen anything like he, like he, he invented it on live TV. He's obviously in his bedroom, literally done that and made it up. Um, What's your thoughts on Elvis? I love him, but he's uh, he's kind of just before my time, really. <laughs> Like, it's like the 40s. I know, that's what I mean. Like, I, I haven't seen enough of him, if I'm honest. I got, really in, I got really, really into Elvis after I watched that movie. Um, yeah, I thought he came across as a bit of a knob on the movie, to be honest. So your evaluation of Elvis is, he's a bit of a knob. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, a yeah. knob. Yeah. Right, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> that's Elvis done. <laughs> Put that in the bomb drawer. Elvis. Not in, any the ghetto, good, in the ghetto, that's in the ghetto. Elvis, tune. come on, absolutely. David Guetta. In the ghetto, you dope. Oh. In the ghetto, in the ghetto. Madonna's the best female for me. Oh yeah. Um, mm. I and I and I get it. Like you went to Houston, Houston, like voice. Mariah. Madonna for like. J Lo's up there though. I know she's very pop, but she's an icon. Yeah, Diana Ross. Mm. Not a huge fan myself. No, I'm not. Mariah Carey. Dionne Warwick. Lady Gaga. Gaga, yes. Yeah, really? Not better than Madonna. Where did Jeannie Queen rank on the um, <laughs> list? If I was going to be a pop star, <laughs> I would want to be Miley Cyrus. Would you? If you could be one person. Well, I'm, I'm happy being me. Miley, no, but if you could be if one If I had to pick a artist. pop star to be, it would be Bono or Miley. Really? I think Miley's got better clothes than Bono. Hmm. And she's a girl, which helps. McCartney would have been a good one because he's kind of longevity-wise as well. Been in the Beatles. Imagine experience in the Beatles. <sighs> Unreal, mate. Like, Mick Jagger, because he's got the outfits Mick Jagger, as well. and he feels like he's lived through it all. All of it. And still still going strong. And he came onto the side. I saw them a couple of years ago at Anfield, actually. They were unbelievable. Like for a bunch of 70-year-old men or however. They must be touching 80, really, now, mustn't they? They were so energetic. They were unreal. So, so See, good. like, but I know they're amazing, but... Like, yeah, more... but you say, oh, he's good for an 80-year-old man, no, or it's no, just like... No, no, no. The, 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 the voice sounds basically the same as when you listen to it on Spotify, really? like, honestly, and they were moving you know the whole forget, time. You know we've totally forgot about? Go on. Bloody Elton. Yeah, Elton, yeah. Elton's top... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's joint number one. He's up there, yeah. And he's a football connoisseur, as you know, he's Pete. He's a football connoisseur. We had him on, our, on the football podcast. And, and he's so showbiz, isn't he? Oh, well, he's just a star, isn't he? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, he's iconic. You know, he does some of those outfits in the early days, you know, yeah. like... I'm sure we're missing people. Well, obviously, we can't name every freaking music pop star who's ever lived. Name one male, one female. I'm torn between George... Michael, not George Michael, George, George Michael. Michael, no, not George Michael, George, who's, Michael who's Jackson, George? George Michael, oh. <laughs> Michael Jackson. You just say not George Michael, <laughs> literally no. like George Michael. No, I'm saying my top three: George, Michael, and John Lennon. Yeah, you so should know. George Michael. You're George so Michael. George Michael. Michael, Michael Jackson. John Lennon. Is that what you're going to go with? But I just. I like a bit of Bono. It's just too hot. And Prince. Oh. What about bands then, right? So you can, Kings have, of Leon. You can have you can have three artists, then you can have three. Like, you two, bands. Kings of Leon, Arctic Monkeys. Nice, nice, nice. Aerosmith. Razorlight. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Razorlight. They're not as iconic as. YouTube, so I put, I put Oasis in there, you know. Oh, yeah. For me personally, I, great I'm just well, like for me personally, growing up in that era, like early nineties, Oasis were like were the ones for me. Yeah, like it's so nostalgic. Even the look, the style, the so look. So grip pop. Yeah, I mean, it's look, it that, 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 that time, doesn't it? Richard like, Ashcroft era. is. My... Yeah, so the Verve, um, Oasis, Ocean Colour Scene. You too. Um, You'd say you too. Well, yeah, but they they were kind of. I'm talking about the Brit pop. It felt like they were yeah. they were kind of their own the, on their genre, own. They were yeah. like in America and stuff. Then that kind of Brit pop era, like was I thought was under well, yeah. Was, I that was call my you two Brit pop, but I'm just saying if you're talking band band band, I'm surprised you two wouldn't be in your top three. Oh no, I love I absolutely love you two. Yeah, mm -hmm. I absolutely love them. Yeah, I'm just talking. That was me just. Mm -hmm. Doing a Brit pop era, I don't think they were involved in that. No, one. not really. I wouldn't associate them with that. No, definitely not. See, I prefer the verb to Oasis. Do you? 
Yeah, yeah. I think he's got one of the, oh, Coldplay. That album though it's was. Got a bloody Chris Martin. <laughs> Love him. <sighs> that uh, Urban Hymns when it was Verve was is a top album. It's so it's so annoying that they don't get eno- as much credit as Oasis. Because he has, he has actually got one of the best voices of all time. He's had a bit of a career resurgence, Richard Ashcroft, though, yeah. as a solo artist. Do you know? Do you know? He, he's got on the credits of like Bittersweet Symphony because it, it was the, at the end that do, 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 was at the end of a Rolling Stones tune. Did you know that? No. So that 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 whole thing that goes, yeah. So it's basically so basically Rolling Stones get the royalties from Bittersweet Symphony. No way. Yeah. Oh, so you should, though, to be fair. But it's their biggest song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's huge. I'm sure there was a kind of legal thing now where they, I think he's given it back now. Who's given it back? So what, Mick Jagger, Rolling Stones have given the rights back to Rich Ashcroft or The Verve. But um, You haven't named many American stars on this. I love Foo Fighters. They're up oh, there for me. And Red Hot Chili Peppers. They were so good to glass down. Yeah, yeah, Foo Fighters are up real. We've forgotten Phil as well. Collins. Collins. Oh, Phil. What was that? Genesis? Oh, Genesis. Uh, Follow you. Blondie? You. Mm. Blondie, yeah. I'm not an ABBA fan. <sighs> well, you're a weirdo. Uh, you're not. I think, no, I'm not. I love Mamma Mia. Ab's but not I, an ABBA fan. <laughs> I, I'm, I am not an ABBA fan Ab at all. Are you? Are you? He is now. He went to see the uh The, the, the only holograms. song I like is um, The only, Winner Takes It All beautiful song mm. we watched that when it takes it all um to our under 21s with england they put a compilation of like our oh, best bits to like and the winner takes oh, it all. That's nice. and it was all like crunching tackles and goal line clearances <laughs> it kind of felt wow. quite emotional my song when i won strictly was dancing queen abby abba was it uh, yeah mm. no they got some good motivational songs they're good for when you're learning a language Abba because you know all the lyrics to them so when you listen to them in another language like Darmi 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 Amor Esta Noche I knew that you know that's Gimme 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 have you just sang Abba in Spanish yeah that, that, like, I don't think you sing it in Spanish Ross do you do Abba, Abba Oro Abba Gold whole album why didn't they just sing it in English well they do sing it in English but then Spanish people want to enjoy it so they release it in Spanish but then because you know all the words you can go, Darmi, 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 Amore. Darmi, Darmi, Amore. It's the notch, yeah. Yeah, so you know that that's wow. gimme, gimme, gimme. But it's not a direct translation, but you know it roughly. Fun fact. So what was fact- the song? Is it Fernando, was it? Yeah. So gimme, the English gimme, 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 I actually learn in songs myself. All the songs, you know, that I know. Times tables. No, n- that's one how thing do you, I definitely ha- don't I'm know. I'm dying to know how you learn through song. I know how to sing this little French uh, left and right song. Yeah. And ask how far the hotel is. Go on then. L'hôtel, l'hôtel, c'est loin. Mais non, mais non, c'est I used to do that one. Is this hotel far? No, it's close. La tenière ou à toi? La tenière ou à gauche? The wee. Vous voilà. That's like turn right. Turn right, turn neck right, next left. That was the trick of all special, wasn't it? Oh, Jean Paul. No, Jean Paul. Do you, when you're talking about icons as well, can you think of more iconic moments? You know, I'm thinking kind of Queen when you did that. Uh, <gasps> Queen? Yeah. We've know, missed la- bloody Queen. We literally watched... We watched Bohemian Rhapsody, <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody last, Rhapsody last, night. last <laughs> night. Again. Yeah, I love that. Big fan. Freddie Mercury. <sighs> so that, you if you go through moments? that live, live Aid, that was, that, was, that was special, wasn't it? Unbelievable. And he was kind of a star at Live, like live Aid, I thought, Freddie yeah, Mercury. You have I liked his little solo tune as well. What was that one? I bought that on the single. Belter. I just love all music to be honest it just it's the best thing isn't it yeah I lost my headphones the other day for, for like two days couldn't find them and I was like thinking I haven't listened to music in like two days and it probably got into my head a little bit do you know what I mean yeah. and then when I really appreciate it when I put my Spotify on mm. yeah, yeah. yeah I think I'm the only person on earth who hasn't got earpods yeah can most people me? have AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> AirPods. I don't. I don't have earphones. Could you believe that? She doesn't have. No, you just take mine. Why? I do not. Charge I just fully. put. I just put it on the speakers in the house, like full blast music. Yeah. 
you've got a good sound system in yours, to be fair. We've got a good sound system, and I, I love... Oh, we forgot bloody Bob Michael Marley. Bolton as well, and Bob Marley. Oh, we forgot Michael Bolton. Really? Yeah, I love that. You know when... <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's been bald for about 25 years. You know where we... And he's got the longest hair I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally oh my god we forgot bump. Rod Rod Rod's, yeah love Rod Big fan these are all the songs you know when uh, we have people around have a few drinks and then before we get into shower bed I put it full blast in the shower tell me how I was supposed to live yeah nice oh tune nice. so what about what about current I, current music I've I got a few I don't want to talk here, current this is called talking... the icon episode and I think we should continue this chat Next week. What about Megan the Stallion? <laughs> What's that? in next week, kids. But I've his opinion Who on Megan the Stallion. Is it is it Megan the Stallion? Yeah. Yes. Is it or is it like I know Megan Trainer, but I don't know Megan the Stallion. <laughs> but girl Tons about that bass, about that um, bass. No. That's chill. Megan Trainer. I know Megan the Stallion. She's um well, she's a bit like Let me just play you a little bit of Megan the Stallion and see what you think. Wap. Started with, we got some whores in this house. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we can't play it for obvious reasons, but um, it started with, we've got some whores in this house. Let's play it a bit more. Make that pull-out game real. What does that mean? <laughs> Let me tell you, we're not good at it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So I just don't. Oh, Andre? Okay, next line. You fucking with some wet ass pussy. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's enough of that, Phils. That language is, I think it's there to shock, if I'm honest. Mm, it's a bit uncouth. A bit uncouth. Uncouth. I'm all for some, you know, I'm into the rap. Vibe, but I feel like you're all that. for letting the coochie breathe. Uh, yeah. A bit of wet ass pussy is too, too much. <laughs> it's a bit much, I think. Well, what I'm saying is, I don't want my kids to listen to that, if I'm honest. I agree. Totally not. Get a bit of Patsy Klein on. It's Patsy Klein. Do I know Patsy Klein? Oh my God. I don't know if I know, I know Patsy Klein is. This is what I'm dealing with. I, I think we've we've said enough. We can't say enough. Actually, on these icons, because there's too many of them and they're all fabulous and wonderful. And I will end this episode how I started it. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave everyone with that thought. I agree. I agree. But do you think there'll be kids coming through now? Like, you know, because no, you can't say they're Lewis iconic. Capaldi. Like, in 20 years' time, they all, when our kids are our age, they can't say, oh, God, Lewis Capaldi, he was the best in the world. He just isn't. Our kids don't know who George Michael is or Elton John. They bloody do. Pete, are you insane? I play I, I, it to them. I disagree with them, but. Fast love. Sophia knows every word. <sighs> it's number one under the house, bar. I taught them Was Oasis. It? I taught them Oasis, didn't really? I? Really? In the bar. Yeah, you did. In the bar. I, I did, yeah. Because <laughs> when they're in the bath, like, they couldn't get away and they couldn't change it. <laughs> <laughs> so I put my tunes on and I made them uh, learn them so they can sing. Sophia's been Most sing of definitely, maybe. And. Almost all of Sophia's been singing Wonderwall for since she could talk. Yeah, yeah. I've got film things. Got, yeah, I've got video of her. Hey guys, my agony Abby's aimed at my boyfriend, and yes, I will be playing this back to him if I'm lucky enough for it to be read out. Okay. So do your worst. Basically, he thinks he's the he's Wigan's answer to PK. As an in dire need of a reality check. Every night we go out, uh, he loves to poo-poo any stories anyone else might Who be did? telling. If he finds them a bit boring, then steamroll them with his own tried and tested people-pleasing anecdotes, <laughs> of which he has about five. I've heard them all, and God knows how many times. Not only is he is it mortifying for me when he talks over either me or everyone else in the group without ever letting them do the punchline to their stories, but they're becoming more and more embellished every time he tells them to the point they're basically a lie in my eyes. God, this is us. Yeah. This is you, Pete. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm the other way as well. Give him his due, he does know how to tell a good tale, but it's very annoying to have someone constantly talk over you. Very annoying. And then basically retell your own story. <laughs> Fucking hell, that is what you do to me. Literally. Uh, and then with a load of extras that never happened. I am yet to publicly out him in front of my friends with the old, that never happened, I was there. But God, I'm on the verge. Am I being ungrateful? 
should I enjoy the fact my fella has a bit of a personality or am I right to be annoyed? I, annoyed I can never get to the end of my sen... She hasn't wrote tense. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Meg from Wigan. I think, Meg, it all depends what mood you're in. Because some days mm. you were thinking, oh, God, he's great, he's entertaining the group. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of elastic. But when you don't like that person that day, it could be annoying and a little outing might might be the way forward. However, we can't contradict what we said earlier about it is all about banter in a relationship. Not, but I hate the word banter. It's all, it is all about personality in a relationship. And I feel I would rather have someone... Lively. Who, someone a little bit lively and someone embellishing those stories to the point where they didn't happen over someone sitting there completely boring with no personality whatsoever. I think you've nailed that. I think yeah. that's I think that's right. Like you'd want him to be, but the fact that he's not letting anyone else talk, <laughs> it would great, I think, after a while. Just pull him I on think, the sly in it and just say I think look. every relationship has heard the story. A million times. You know, 100%. how many wives or husbands, you know, go, oh, I've heard this a million times. That's just life. But also, you know, you're doing things together, right? But then you're sharing it with the group. I do think it's you know, it's nice. I think it's common courtesy to go, I fucking had this one so many times. <laughs> They're going to love it. He's enjoying telling it. I love him, so we'll let him crack on. But if you hate him that particular day, you'll be like, oh. This one again. What a bell. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> the old survived. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it can he be died. difficult. <laughs> yeah. Nice at the end. Okay, next one. Okay, hi Abby and Pete. Uh, firstly, I, I just wanted to thank you for your newfound careers as content creators. Oh God. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Can I live that down? This is into our holiday now, and uh, with the fact that we're just here content creating, um, <laughs> it, I think it's great. It's great for everyone at home, isn't it? Thank you're you. welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. It's not a problem. We're here for you. You're uh, welcome. The Therapy Crouch content you guys put out, second to none, keeps me very entertained during the golden hour on a Tuesday when I've just dropped the kids off at school uh, and I'm yet to begin my jobs for the day. I'm hoping you can give me some non-relationship related advice, if that makes any sense. So cut a long story short, relatively short, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all the classes and activities that the school is pressuring my kids. Oh God, you and me both, sister. Uh, to take part in. Every other week, I'm getting new clubs, extracurricular activities, sports days, school trips to get my kids involved in. I, like most parents, want my kids to have as many opportunities provided to them. But at what point do you say no? Mm. Not only do you have to worry about keeping up appearances with all those yummy, pissing mummies on the school run who seem to live for this shit... <laughs> Yummy pissed mummies or yummy pissing? Yummy pissing mummies. <laughs> uh, but it's also so expensive. Uh, not only do I have to worry about being judged left, right and centre from the school, my kids, the, uh, the YMCA, yummy mummy crew assholes, <laughs> but I also end up judging and hating myself even though I'm being stretched too thin. Any words of advice for this overworked, underpaid, underappreciated, stressed out single mother? Thanks, Jane Stokel trent Oh, God, Jane. This is, I, I completely relate to this. But mm. what I can say is I didn't do any clubs. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I too didn't do a club. And I'm content creating no, twice okay. a week. <laughs> that is an absolute joke. And I am no role model for anybody. And I will had, put my hands up and say that. No, it's, it's a lot. Mm. It's like, it's a lot, mm, you know, back in the day, it used to be like football. To be football, that was it. Mm. Now it's swimming, coding club, chess club. Um, coding club. Chess club, there's debate club. Mm. Politics. Politics. Spanish. Da, 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 da. And as a parent, we all want the best for our kids, but it, it, it is overwhelming. And I think, you know, above all, and I think lockdown was a, a real eye-opener for this. If your kids are happy and healthy, that's all that matters. Do you know what I mean? And and that is true. We we all want the yeah. best, and it and it is about keeping up. And you know, you you do look and go, God. Well, especially for us, our kids have got opportunities that we didn't have growing up. And I had a great life, yeah. you know, as a kid. But you 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 do want to go. Oh my God, there's so much on offer and so much at their feet, and you want them to do everything. But you know, can't do it all. You can't. And um, you know, there's a lot of access for them to do lots of good things. Um, but I think you do. You have to be selective. You, know? you have to be selective, and you know, it shouldn't be stress stressful. Do the school, and maybe pick one thing that they like to do. 
Yeah, I'd pick like one or two things and get them good at that. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Rather than being half good at 10 things, go, you're all right. Go I know on. people that were really good at lots of different sports and they wish they'd just pursued one and yeah. gone for it. You know, the one they enjoyed the most. I think sometimes it's better to excel at something than be Jack of all trades all. instead of master of none. Mm. Exactly right. Well said. The other way around, is it? No, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. That's Nailed very it. insightful, I think, this pod. No, well, you know, you, we, we're, we're, we're learning through fun. <laughs> Let Jenny hear that. Why do I do it in like a Moroccan accent? So derriere, isn't derriere like an ass? Yeah, derriere. Derriere on twat. Does he am? I said does he am. Or does he am? What was the second bit? The does he am what? Rue. Rue and. Rue a drat. A drat. Which uh-huh. means on the left. No, it's drats. Goshes right. Yeah, drat drat is right, no. I thought gauche was right. Tony Edouard, Tony Edouard, gauche. Allez tout droit. Allez tout droit. It's straight on. Allez tout droit. Allez tout droit, straight on. Tony Edouard, Tony Edouard, gauche. You can't say droit is straight on and left. No, Tony Edouard, Tony Edouard, gauche. Allez tout droit. Proceed. Can we proceed to the bar now? Because Let's proceed to the last one. All right, let's help one. One more person. Hi, Abby and Pia. How can I get my girlfriend to chill out on her expensive spending habits? No idea. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Next question. I can't help with this. Yeah. <laughs> I have been lucky enough to find a girl who's the love of my life, but sadly is cut from a very different cloth to me. I am a proud working class boy and was brought up in a household where every penny counted. This means I prided myself on being super savvy when it came to getting a good deal, being in restaurants, supermarkets, flights. What are you doing that voice? Well, I'm reading it like it's a little bit more interesting. Mm-hmm. Would you rather me do? You name it, I'll deal on it. My girlfriend, on the other hand, was brought up in a money's no object environment, which don't get me wrong, I'm happy to enjoy as I go out for a meal with her and her parents, but fuck me, does it great on me when it's just the two of us. I'm 99% sure that if you asked her what haggle meant, She'd think it was something straight out of the Harry Potter book. She <laughs> flatline refuses to ever let me woo her with an early bird meal, <laughs> meal deal due to the limited menu selection. I will happily uh, peruse the aisles, scouring for any club card classics. If I can get Good language, save, guy. So, save a couple of quid on buying salad style cheese rather than organic feta, then so be it. My girlfriend seems to get a thrill from not looking at the prices of anything and playing guess the bill whenever we get to the till. <gasps> Spoiler alert, I've already done the mental arithmetic whilst uh, it was in the trolley and it's £46.64. How can I get my... If bit... it's 69 it'd, everything would be all right. Yeah, it would be. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> How can I get my bit of posh totty to come round to my frugal ways? Rob, London. Oh, Rob, 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 Rob. I don't have this with you. And one thing like you oh, do Oh, thanks, babe. Have... That's actually a nice thing. You yeah. said to me for once. Yes, you do have expensive taste and you do shop, like to shop. But you are good when it comes to bargaining. You are... <laughs> That's like a backhanded <laughs> compliment. No, no he's saying that his missus just like doesn't care about price whereas you I'm, are not like that I am very savvy and I'm scouse I like a bargain I like to haggle mm-hmm. it's part of the fun you know I, I like a deal you like expensive things like everyone does but I think you would you, you wouldn't you pay I'm also not stupid. you wouldn't pay anything that's what I'm saying you would rather it Got it. You would rather get it at Yeah, bargain. like if there's a nice, really expensive jacket, which is like ridiculous, I'd, go, I'd prefer that money to be in my bank than on my back. Yeah. And that's a fact. But it is, it is hard. <laughs> <laughs> she meant that as well. You can see how much that... Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I definitely am savvy. No, I, that's we one both thing. Are? 100% you are. Actually, you're yeah. worse than me when it comes to shopping. Well, like buying things. Because I don't go often, like so I'm saying, like you go quite a lot, and then so you can't do what I do. You know where to find the best deals up. Mm. You, she does. She's very. But, but that's hard. Not on, but that, on, that's, on it with that. That's a hard thing when you've you've been you know your your partner and you've been brought up completely different. Yeah. You know it's hard to adjust. Because mm. yeah. will that girl feel like he's good enough? You know, once the love wears thin, <laughs> um, will she still? Will she still find him cute or will she just think he's, you know, 
can't wine and dine her like she feels that she's used to. Yeah. And he, he's going to want to impress her all the time, isn't Exactly. He? And so is it kind of a tiring it's relationship? A, it's a tiny bit of Race J Jack here. You know, mm. it's, not, mm. it's not sustainable. You can't consistently pay for things that you can't afford. No, you can't. Because it's going to end in real tears. Life. Mm. Yeah, so I think it's a, it's a fuck her off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's unsustainable. Down. Fuck her off. <laughs> no, just have a chat with her. You know, like just say, look, this isn't. This That's isn't hard for a man to do. It's an awkward to thing that. to do, but more, yeah, especially very, for the family, isn't it? Like, I think so. Very awkward. He wants the best for her. Just be really passive aggressive and bury your feelings. So like mm. the... You could bury your feelings, yeah, and then let them bubble over into midlife bubble crisis. Over to, to, <laughs> to, yeah, it's an explosion. Mm. <laughs> All right, there's another. Uh, Great bit of advice for the third of you. If you enjoyed this episode, you should let us know who your musical icons are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, please. I mean, listen, everyone will have different of opinions. Everyone will have different opinions, but that's what makes the world go round. You know, no one's right, no one's wrong, unless you said... Bono, you two are shit, then... No. Yeah. Uh, You're wrong. James Arthur, we haven't touched on, by the way. He has got the one of the best voices... Of our generation. Yeah. I can't believe it. Voices. Voices. I think he's got a great voice. Exactly. That's We've all just, I'm saying. Why, why I'm not saying... You're talking about I'm not John saying into him. I think he's Musically, got a great voice. But his Incredible voice is voice. phenomenal. Yeah, it yeah. really is. This could run and run. We, I mean, we're going to now go to dinner and talk about this and come up with more people that mm. we should have said. Yeah. And it's going to be frustrating. But send yours in, definitely, uh, to the therapycrouch.com. Um... And, and get them in because we'd like to hear and possibly we could have a poll and see who is actually the best of all time. You must great, David, to be honest. Oh, no, did I? You love it? Oh. Right. <laughs> Fill me in. <laughs>